Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to do round two of These Books Will Self-Destruct in 12 Months. I just did my follow-up for the first round that I ever did, and it was so much fun. And I did it around my birthday. My birthday's on the 7th, so I thought it would be fun to do another round, and then next October, see <laughs> if I read any of these books or what happens. So the last one, <laughs> I didn't read that many. And it might have been more of an excuse to get rid of some of these books or just to force myself to think about them and see if I end up picking them up and getting them on the forefront of my mind in the beginning, but then I still didn't pick them up after a year. Yeah, so it was kind of like, oh, then I don't need to have these books anymore <laughs> if I didn't pick them up. And then some of them I already had unhauled. So, um, without reading. So it was just kind of like, all right. So I thought it was fun. So I went ahead and grabbed 12 more books. These are books that I would like to get to within the next year. And if I don't, then it's a sign that maybe I don't need them anymore. Um, most of these are very older, either titles or books that I've had on my shelves for a very long time. So it's kind of like, I just need to, I need a push to get through them. I need a push to pick them up and we'll see what happens in the next year. Okay. So first one here is A Dog's Purpose. This is by um, w. Bruce Cameron. Um, this has been made, it's like a series of books definitely about dogs. And I believe they're from the dog's perspective. Am I correct in that? Um, I'm a dog lover. I'm a big, big dog lover. And I've been shying away from dog books recently because we lost our dog very suddenly. Um, he was very young and it was sudden and it, we were not ready. <laughs> um, and that was really hard. It was really hard. Uh, we lost him last October actually. So it's been a year, but it's, it still, um, is really hard. So I think I'm okay to maybe pick up something about dogs again though. And again, I have a whole nother year. So if I need to wait a little while, I still can. Um, but I, I love dogs guys. Like I just have a gravitational pull towards them <laughs> and I love them so much. I love the bonds that dogs and humans can have and I've experienced that before as well. And so just, it, it means a lot to me and yeah, so I think I want to try this. I do have a couple of books that are like dog themed by this author. So I just want to see what I think about them and, you know, give at least one a try and see what I think. So this is kind of like the original one though. Okay, another one I picked is Bunheads. This is by um, Sophie Flack. So this is a ballerina book. Um, I have a couple of ballerina books. <laughs> uh, I used to be a dancer. I never did ballet, but I used to be a dancer. And so books about ballet academies and ballerinas and all that really intrigues me. So I have picked up a few here and there, and I have like I have four or five books. <laughs> so I picked this one because this is the one that I'm just like, I'm pretty sure it's very YA. And I think it's a girl trying to decide between a career in ballet and like her, the person she's in love with, like she can't have both. I don't know, really know why, but I don't know. This is, this is kind of the one that I'm like, Mm, of all the ones, I don't know that this would be the one that I pick first. So I'm trying to like push myself to maybe pick this one. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see. Okay. <laughs> the Terror by Dan Simmons. I am so torn on this one. <sighs> I've heard very good things about this author. Very, very good things. So that makes me want to read it. There is an adaptation that I can watch right now if I want to, and I've heard it's pretty good. This is like a like a horror set on an icy ship type thing. <sighs> the size is what's kind of killing me. Um, I'm a little afraid that it's going to be boring and I'm not going to make it through it. That's what I'm scared of. I'm trying to figure out if I should just watch the show. <laughs> I know. I know. Um... So I'm putting it on here because I feel like if I don't read this in the next year, I probably just need to let that be my decision and just watch the show. Or maybe I could try to pick it up. I don't know. Maybe I should pick it up over the winter and see. I'm just, I'm afraid it's going to be boring. That's what I'm afraid of. If you've read this, will you let me know, please? Let me know if, if you think I can read this book and enjoy it. If you know my taste. It scares me a little bit though. 
Storm Dancer by J. Kristoff. This is the first book in the Lotus War series that he has. I don't know how many books are in um, the series. <sighs> Here's my problem. <laughs> I love Jay Kristoff as an author. I love his books. I loved Empire of the Vampire. It's fantastic. Um, I loved Nevernight. I still need to finish that series. Um, this is just one that I don't know that I need. I don't know that I need to read this. I don't think this is going to be a favorite. Um, I have heard not the greatest things about it. And I'm kind of just, I don't know that I need this one. I've almost unhauled it a couple times, but I keep, I keep it because... Jay Kristoff. Like, that's why I keep it because I do like his writing. I just don't know that this is one that I need. So we're going to see if I don't get to it in the next year, I'm just going to let it go. Um, but I wanted to kind of like put it at the forefront of my mind, forefront of my mind and see if that makes a difference. Okay. Another dog book, <laughs> Trident Canine Warriors. This is by Mike Ritland. Um, this is a nonfiction about dogs who serve with the Navy SEALs. I really do want to read this one. <laughs> like, and I just kind of really need a push to actually pick it up. I've had it for a very long time. Um, but ever since watching the show SEAL Team, oh my goodness, you guys, that show was so good. Um, and there's a dog that serves on their team. And every time that dog goes out on a mission, I'm like, don't you touch that dog. You be nice to that dog. <laughs> don't you hurt that dog. <laughs> like, Humans, whatever. Don't you touch the dog. That's me. So um, I would love to read this as, you know, from a person who works. He's like the dog's handler and he's on the SEAL team um, with the dog. And I just, I love it. I love it. Like, that's one of my favorite things about that show. And this isn't super long. It's less than 300 pages. Um, so I think I could probably get through this fairly quickly, but I do definitely want to read this one. Okay, so um, I went to my older arcs that I have had for a long time. <laughs> and I grabbed one that didn't work out so well for me last time. Um, but this one came to me in May of 2019. Um, or this book came out in May of 2019. I had it a little bit before that. But that is the guest list. This nope, the guest book. This is by Sarah Blake. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is about. And there's no synopsis. This is all just uh, blurbs. Um, I think it's supposed to be kind of either a scary or a thriller type thing. So if I pick it up, I guess we'll see. Um, maybe it could be something good for the fall, maybe, or even winter, possibly. So I guess we'll see. But I, I really don't know what it's about. Okay, this one. This is the first book in a duology. I have both of them. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Uh, I don't know about Mindy McGinnis. <laughs> I have read... What have I read? I read Female of the Species. That was pretty good. I gave it four stars. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be an author that like I, I, I need to read all of her books. And I haven't heard a whole lot. I mean, I heard a lot about it when people were reading it and stuff. And then I went ahead and bought both of them. I think I got these on Book Outlet a long time ago. Um, but this is like a drought happens. Um, I think it might be a little bit of apocalyptic like survival type thing. Um, but I do have the two books and I just, I don't know. I don't know if I even really am interested anymore in reading them. So I guess we'll see. It looks like it could go pretty quickly. So I can maybe give the first one at least a try and see what I think. But um, yeah, I don't know. If you've read this, let me know. Okay, this one, another duology that I have both books. <laughs> the Rook. This is by Daniel O'Malley. You guys, this book is so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, this is on Her Majesty's Supernatural Secret Service. That's what made me buy this. That's all I know. That's all I know. Secret Service, Supernatural. All right, I'm in. Um, am I? Am I in? I don't know. We're going to have to see if I'm in and then over the next year. But I, I would like to at least give this one a try and see what I think. Um... And I was hearing really good things about it when people were talking about it. Therefore, I bought both books. You guys, <laughs> gotta stop. Okay, um, this one. I, okay, this is Victoria. This is by Daisy Goodwin. I read a book by Daisy Goodwin. I read The American Heiress, and I think it was just okay for me. It was fine. I don't remember much about it. Okay, yeah, so I guess this follows Queen Victoria. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm, 
not seeing the greatest things about her books in general is that's the thing um they don't have like the highest ratings i do have another book on my shelves from her that has a lower rating than this one so when i was looking at these i was thinking about picking one from her so i just picked the one with the higher rating um but then the other one i think it's called fortune hunter that has like a low rating <laughs> so i'm kind of like oh man i don't know so i guess we'll see i'm just i'm not sure like this is the historical fiction that i'm super interested especially since the first one I read from her was just fine it was a little bit forgettable um so I guess we're just gonna have to see if I end up picking it up but I don't have high hopes to be honest okay next one is the thousandth floor which I have to say very slowly by Catherine McGee this is the first book I think in a trilogy I believe this is kind of like a dystopian type of book I mean this thing is god this thing is gorgeous <laughs> um so this follows a society where I think the higher you live in these buildings, the more rich, like you're more privileged or rich or whatever. I'm pretty positive that's how it is. Um, and I think it's like just messed up people. So yeah, the higher you are, the far, oh, the farther you fall. Oh, interesting. Um, so I don't know, but this is by the same, oh, um, that's pretty. This is by the same author of the American Royal series, which I really enjoyed. I mean, it was fun. It wasn't like fantastic, but I had a good time. Um, so this is set in Manhattan in 2118. So future. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. This is the only one I have. I'm not buying the rest of the trilogy. I've heard I've heard decent things about it. So I just kind of wanted to see if I could read something from her that's a little bit different than what I've already read and just see what I think. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I'm just not 100% sure I'm interested anymore. I was very interested when this first came out and everybody was reading it and raving. Um, I actually got this from, I think it's an Alcrate. This might have been my first Alcrate. Um, I did Alcrate for three months, I think, just to kind of test it out and see. And I obviously didn't stick with it. But um, I think this was the first one and I was so excited because it was all the rage and blah, blah, blah. I haven't picked it up. So um, when was this published? I know we were in New Mexico at the time. I remember opening it. 2017. Yeah. I just, I don't know that I'm interested anymore. I really just don't. I feel like I've lost interest. So I guess we'll see. If I pick it up in the next year, then I can make a decision on what I think. But um, yeah, this is one, <laughs> this thing is huge. Um, I don't even really know what this is. I bought this book for a video like to do a video and then I never ended up doing that video. I'm pretty sure it was like subscriber recommendations. And I bought a few on um, Book Outlet and then I never did that video. <laughs> so I got The Gilded Hour by Sarah um, Donati. Donati? Donati? Donati, I think that's maybe how you say it. Um, it's a historical fiction, but gosh, this thing is huge, guys. Um, 1883, New York. Um, two women graduate from women's medical school, and they treat people in the city. Um, Anna has placed her work, or Anna's work has placed her in the path of four children who've lost everything. Um, so I think maybe she ends up helping them out and maybe becoming their foster person, if you will. And then Sophie is an obstetrician and um, she is the orphan daughter of free people of color. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely remember getting it for a video and then I never did the video. <laughs> so it's just been sitting on my shelves. Um, let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you think I would like it? It is huge. So it's very intimidating. Ooh, but it has been, rec it was recommended to me. So um, there is that, but I don't know. I don't know. I need some feedback on it because I'm just, I haven't really heard that much about it at all, except for it being recommended to me once a few years ago. <laughs> so let me know. Let me know your thoughts. So these are books that I really just kind of feel like I need a push. And now I'm trying to decide. You guys tell me. Should I keep these set aside somewhere where I see them where I will be more likely to pick them up? Or should I put them back on my shelves and just see? Because I feel like maybe putting them back on my shelves 
caused me to forget a lot about, about a lot of them last time, and therefore I didn't read a lot of them. And so I'm kind of wondering if setting them aside would actually make me pick them up. And maybe I would be more successful instead of getting rid of a lot of books. But again, last time I sold a lot of books ahead of time and like I unhauled them anyway <laughs> without like thinking about them being on my list. So there's that too. I don't know. You guys, you guys tell me, should I keep these set aside where I see them a lot to where I'm more likely to pick them up? Or should I put them back on my shelves and just let fate handle it? Let me know because I don't really know what I want to do yet. For now, I'll keep them set aside until I hear back from you guys. But yeah, I don't know. That's why is that a decision I can't make? I have no idea. It's fine. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. So I'm going to give myself a year to see if I can pick any of these up and see what I think. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are there any of these that I should really like make sure that I pick up? Please give me your feedback on that. A lot of these books, most of these books I've had for a very long time. So I just need to read them or not <laughs> and let them go. Um, but I'm definitely excited to hear your feedback on them. So let me know. All right. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Bye.